Uh oh, uh oh, I already started already. <laughs> Can you still come in, I think? Um, I type the password on Skype. As right now, we have Leon Zaya going up against Potato. As long as it's an anticipated match as well. But Potato is down one member as Janie is, is nowhere to be found. So it's gonna be a 4v5 right now. Okay. I'm too sure if someone DC. Oh. Nope, we have 5 members here. And I see 4 over there, so there's no DC. Oh, someone disconnected. No, it's Qtonex, he actually went out, my bad. But we have Rock Boy going out against Qtonex here. We're gonna have a Radic placement there, waiting for the dash in. So Rock Boy is a sin for you. Previously he did very well. He was mentioned in the highlights for week 1. The debuff on the chain lining is there once again. Well done. You can see the lining relics used. Nice detonate on the Maelstrom Howl as the lining debuff was the one that cancelled the Maelstrom Howl, not the detonate. As Honey Liz is in right now. Nice lining relic placement once again. As you can see, Qtonax knows you need to press hard on the Saints, but definitely if you lose the opportunity to ride full 10 seconds at the start of the round, this is what you'll be facing here. A barrage of relics and a bunch of healing buffs. Cancelling a chain lining there with a nice ring bombs here, but the binding relic there keep catch capturing him. So the miracle relic is used as Rock Boy heals back up. See so the healing relic as well. He's gonna go back to near 100% HP as Rock Boy gets out of his defensive formation here. A good Cyclone X catching of Qton X along with all the relics disappearing will be crucial as well. See so the circle swing. He's down to 34% HP. Avenger Wave is used. The next Mills Trial will be coming soon. As he used it this time, not for the Mills Trial. He's getting caught. That was a crit on the Mills Trial, I believe. He's down to 11% HP. He's in trouble. As Qtonex is gonna take him away. Looks like he's gonna be taken away. 2% HP. As Qtonex does it. Nicely done. A Rock Boy definitely did a, a good job from Potato. He's like down, three down to 3 members right now. Qtonex about 40% HP. As I believe Patrick is going to be going up next to see the gesture being used. No, because my game is hanging. Because Valerie, if the sniper is sent, will be countered by the gear master, I believe. Patrick having the dash blow one up at the moment. Avoids the wing attack here, the impact punch there, nicely dodged. But look at the jump slash on the flying sink here. Avoids the crisis howl. No, he didn't quite avoid it. But the breaking point, base the air evasion. The circle swing is late, he's only air evasion, he does a drop kick there. Tricky drop kick doesn't buy it for him this time. Forces the relief as he's caught by the Millstrom Howl. No crisis Howl counts for him as well. As Qtonex sets it up for well, sets it up very well. Doesn't use the whirlwind. The wake attack there into ring bombs here. Might be taken away. The Millstrom Howl. Support with a nice air evasion timing here. As the whirlwind is gonna get a lucky breaking point. He does. Air evasion beta. His iron skin is up at the moment. But Qtonex's own iron skin is out. He debuffs. Oh, Virum play by Qtonex guys on the live stream for you. 9% HP left for him, but he debuffs away the iron skin with the divertalizing howl. As I bite my tongue on that. But kills an X. <laughs> Two winning streak for you. <laughs> As Patrick taken away, he's playing wanted side. This is not wanted side for you, this is Patrick playing wanted side. But I think he did well, but I can see Qtan X back at 90% HP. I think he only lost about 5% in the exchange. As it looks like he's gonna be have a chance here to do the MVP by Valerie. One checking arrows here, just need to buy time to prevent his checking arrows from getting cancelled. Uh, well placed taunting how as shown by Belfry in the earlier game. Will be good enough here. Punching swing super armor use Belch. Triangle shot into anchor shot, nicely used. Where's the checking arrows here? Gets caught by the taunting how and the circle swing. As his opportunity to use checking arrows is avoided by a nice triangle iframe here from Valerie. The Millstrom Howl was used to reduce the damage taken by checking arrows, but he had too little HP to do that. That was definitely a good attempt by Qtonex here. It was a good game plan as well. But I guess Qtonex run ends right here. As I think Astro G, the Game Master, will be up straight next. As Game Master is a counter to snipers or artillery in general due to the towers being able to tank checking arrows. No, they send a Windwalker instead. As Lady Aizaka is a Windwalker, if I can recall. It is, it is a Windwalker here. Nice eagle dive there at the start. Base the air evasion here. Gets caught in the spiral attacks here. Battery in trouble. Swift shot iframe used well. Anchor shot connects. He's in a good position to do a counter attack. You see the charge shot and the tracking arrows here. Nicely used as Lady Azaka backs out. Gets caught by the stunning arrow there and the tracking arrows. 16% HP for Lady Azaka at the moment. The rising storm avoided, but you can see the flower there. If he comes in, he's gonna get caught. 
He's coming in! He explodes! Oh, he was out of range! No, he's not out of range! He's gonna explode right now! Oh, he's out of range! So, 8% HP for Lady Azaka. The Shikanos is out, he's gonna get taken away. Or oh, the iframes here is gonna be pro! The iframes here was pro, but... Two ticks there. Takes Lady Azaka away as he was down to too little HP. Two winning streak for Valerie there. As you see, probably Ice to Q or the Gear Master. This time they send they send a Gear Master here. Astro G. So I didn't quite manage to do my introductions to both teams because they started already. We'll do that in game two, I guess. Stunning arrow has a lucky stun here. Let's cover that charge shot as well. So Valerie has, has a, a game plan that an artillery has shown in this tournament. What he does is he does some damage to the Game Master at the start, and then he'll just back away from the Game Master all the way, and then he wins by more HP. So this is one this is what one sniper has shown us so far. I think it was implicit. Can't remember it was one of the pro snipers. No, but then I there. think he got outro. Hmm. Outro? Yeah, what the sniper they thought. Eh? Was it really Dust? I can't remember actually. I think Dust. Then at first he thought that he was doing, doing such a good oh, damage. Oh, not enough damage. damage. No, but that's, that's different. That's against Dust, not Game Master. Oh. Yeah. But I think it's the same. But Battery getting caught by the Gravity Grenade there. And the Ping Pong is down 20% HP. The Biochemical Missile. Oh, nice job by Astro G there. For what Honey mentioned is true as well, there was a Bowmaster, I think it was Devilius going up against Dust. Yeah. <laughs> and Devilius. And then he got out true. <laughs> yeah, he got out in the end because Dust had more HP in the end. I think it was like 5% only, right? It was very close in that one. If you have not watched it, go and watch. Yeah, because Devilius was like 90, 90 I and think then he was, Dust. He was 86. Dust killed back all the way to 100. I use Ducks getting caught at the start, Ping Pong, Stun Grenade as well. Avoids the bubble bubble there. Gets caught by a Chainsaw Tower, as those are crucial. Oh, Astro G gets a Ping Pong to the face as well. Goes in with a nice rocket jump, but a Flash Grenade here as well, but I can see the Ice Pump Tower is on the ice. I use Ducks. Astro G, the Ping Pong to the face again. If he bounces back, it's gonna take Astro G away. Gets caught by the Ice Pump Tower, is in trouble. The Stun Grenade is gonna take him away. Biochemical Missile! Oh! As Leon Dyer wins the first game, 1-0 to Leon Dyer against Potato as we go into game 2. And Patrick getting back at Starkey, he said, I know you're watching, Red Foot suck. <laughs> so there's a thing going on between Starkey and Patrick, we have this Red Foot. And I think. The team name Potato is because Wanted Tsai is a Potato Con. I don't know. They have their own factions. As Game 2 is underway and I'll be able to do some introductions. So, from Greenwood, we have Leon Dyer there. Vaughn or Vogue, the Guardian, I believe. And then saw Lady Azaka, the Wind Walker. Astro G, Game Master. Qsun X, the Destroyer there. The guy that did a very important job of taking away Wanted Tsai or Patrick. And finally, the last man, who's the last man? I think the Illustra. Ice to kill, yes, a very good Illustra as well in Greenwood. And in Potato, we have I use Dark's Gear Master. Wanted side played by Patrick, a destroyer. Dowry is a sniper. Oh, sniper going up against destroyer this time. We have Rock Boy, the Saint, and Janie who's not here, the Illustra. Anchor shot not finding a target this time. The fixture is baited. Swift shot iframe is used, cancelling the circle shot. I mean the circle swing fortunately. If not, you'll be in trouble here. Gets caught by rolling attack on his area chain shot here. Millstorm Power avoided with a nice triangle shot here. The tracking arrows is used. This is a relief force as well. This is the flower being set up in an offensive position here. Finds again, very good triangle shots from Valerie. This is the twin shots as well. Just trying not to get baited here. Gets caught by a storm reactive bling used in the triangle shot as the woman's gonna catch him. Breaking point there, based air evasion. Swift shot base set here as well, taunting how from Kilton X into Cyclone X once again. Kilton X for you. As you see a rolling attack here, air evasion timing there is good from Valerie. Gets caught with the ankle shot as well. The next tracking arrows can be a turnaround here. Into tracking arrows here. Gets caught, 40% HP, but will be enough. The arrow brush is out. He runs in close, still gets caught, 3% HP. The last few takes doesn't hit. 
to the magic arrow of the fish, but the anchor shot, oh, the anchor shot is on the circle scene, Valerie won in the exchange there. I need PM Sleepy to pass it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. PM him. Sleepy now a Marshall as well, wants to come and watch. As right now, it's gonna be Valerie against Astro G, the counterplay is used immediately. But they are 4-4 right now, but you can say that they are still down 1. Because Valerie is down to 10% HP. Anchor shot. Oh, he caught, he caught him! Signing shot hits as well, 82% HP here. He's trying to do more damage here with his triangle shot, it goes in. Needs to watch out for the Ice Bomb Tower, it's gonna be raining on him very soon. He wisely cancels his skill here. Need to see some accurate ping pongs from Astro G once again. His ping pong has been up to par so far. Gets caught by that bullseye as he actually went through all those things. Found a little loophole in that fortress there. Avoids the ping pong, 20% HP for Valerie. See the alpha transitional damage. Astro G playing it very safe here. Still getting some picks here. Twin shot as well. So the biochemical missile, he dodged too early there for Valerie. As Astro G well plays biochemical missile once again. Back to 3-4 and I believe one third side or pet check will be coming up now. As he needs to pull off the clutch play here to bring it back to game 3. It's gonna be tough definitely. Leon Dyer has a bunch of decent PvP players. <laughs> As pet check says, I won't say it out in live stream there to be fair to Starkey. So maybe she go I frame. Gets lucky breaking point there. Circle swing here, avoided with a nice tumble. As Patrick loses the important 10 seconds. But gets the ring bombs to hit 33% HP right now. Gets caught by the ice bomb tower unwisely. He's gonna be in trouble here. The bubble bubble is gonna hit. Crisis out timing here is good. The iron skin is up, but he's still slowed. He gets re slowed here. He's in trouble 5% right now. It's gonna be taken away. Stun grenade stuns. Bible chemical missile hits as well. 80 16% HP. See them powering how being used. 5% HP right now as there's no towers in the field. No, the ice bomb tower is out once again. The Mistrum how here? Oh, I think Patrick definitely got lucky here. 15% HP. As he definitely could have done better here. But his main is a gladiator, so you can't really blame him. But I would, I would hope that when he says that WPS, when he's mentioned WPS, I would say the... Uh, what's that? What's the word for it? Starts with A, I think. Never mind. <laughs> but I still kill the last is used. You can see that he doesn't use a secondary weapon. And it's taken away right from the start there, from the frost wind into the poison spray. Once again, ice to kill for you, Alestra. As right now, it's going to be very hard for Potato to come from the back. As Vox say, they're not going to let him play. <laughs> He's the leader, actually. He can choose to let himself out. But ice to kill against Rock Boy, the Saints. Can Rock be a rock this week? We'll find out very soon. Forcing connects here, Rob Boy in trouble here. As Ice to kill does well. In the first crucial fight against against the air region this time for Rock Boy is not definitely up not up to par. As he used it when the freezing wall is still up. Imagine wave baited as well, he's definitely in trouble here. The chain lining is used, the lining buff is on, but is it enough? The block as well. A voice that shatter the storm even further, but gets caught by a frost immediately, so Ice to kill chasing. Keeping those buffs on. Ice Spear while he's stuck in the corner is gonna be taken away by the chilling mist. No, the chilling mist was cancelled by the lightning debuff here as Rock Boy queues back up to 40% HP. The Miracle Relic is used. He gets Glacier waved. Still frozen at the moment, but he has the production buff up where the damage is definitely very nerfed. So the binding relic used defensively. The holy boat connects. No, it was it connects, but he got caught by chilling mist there. Fling sword as well. You need to see the binding relic now tick. If not, it's gonna be in trouble. It did, it does. So the kill running used by his 8% HP, gets caught again. Counter reactive bling with the frost wind, well played by Ice to kill here. But you can see Rock Boy, 2% HP, and the freezing field takes him away. Well played by Ice to kill there, but you can see his mana is down to 15%. But he's definitely in trouble. As down to the last man, I use Ducks. The Gear Master, who also has an Elastra and also have a Zap as well. So, decent PvP player here. But definitely, 
not up to par like XQT or Nima, these two game masters are very good, or Prometheus, Time Lord. What other good game masters are there? Let me try to recall. I think Aubrey is good as well, but 15k on the freezing field. I secure for you as 2 0 to Leon Dyer here. GG well played by both teams, but nevertheless, Potato is 4 players, but you can say that it will even be tough even with, without the 4 players. As right now, that's the end for tonight's live stream schedule there. For those who stayed up, thanks for watching. Remember to follow us on Twitch TV or subscribe to T Gaming if you have not on our YouTube channel, T Eternity Gaming. Once again, thanks for watching, God bless, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye and good night.